Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Terry, and today I have another live swatch and review video for you. So this is the Just Add Water Collection by KB Shimmer. And this collection will release August 1st, 2022. Unless you're at the Beauty and Polish Expo, then you will have early access to this collection on July 17th. So this collection consists of eight shimmery shades perfect for invoking the spirit of summer. So I'm just showing you a quick video of me unboxing my PR box. I do get paid to do swatches for KB Shimmer, but all of these opinions are my own. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and like it if you enjoyed this video and let me know your favorite nail polish in the comment section. So let's get started. Flip out is a bright, almost neon, coral-leaning, orange crelly nail polish. Shifting shimmer adds a pop of glistening gold and peach at some angles, while near neon pink and rose hues come out to play in others. This polish can be a two or three coater, just depending on how opaque you like to wear your nail polishes. I'm only gonna be showing you two coats of this one in the video. I think it looks really nice with the shimmer. But you can see I do have longer nails right now and it's honestly not completely opaque but you really can't see my nail line that strongly after two coats. You could just see it a little bit and I'm fine with that. So you can see by this little live motion video the formula was really nice. No running or pooling and you can really see that yellow shimmer standing out of the coral background. Meltdown is a vibrant fuchsia nail polish with color shifting shimmer that boosts aqua, mint, and violet hues while a shocking pink reveals its bold tone at certain angles. Again, this is another two to three coater. I'm only going to be showing you two coats in this live swatch today and I think it looks really nice at two coats. Same formula as the last polish. It is a more neon type formula, so it dries down to a semi matte finish, but the application is really nice. These wide nail polish brushes that KB Shimmer has with their nail polishes makes it so nice and easy to apply these polishes. I did try to apply it like as straight as possible, so I didn't get any like brush strokes um, in the shimmer. And you can see it's still a little bit sheer on two coats, but I think it looks really nice. I really like the purple shade to this polish. Great formula, no running or pooling. So Rock the Float is a bright, hot pink nail polish loaded with shifting shimmer. Golden hues sparkle and show off hints of peach and the sun, while the softer lighting brings out hints of tangerine, rose, and fuchsia. And this near metallic shimmery nail polish is perfect for a day filled with inflatable fun. Again, this is another two to three coater. Um, I should have done comparisons between like the pinks and red, the pinky shades, but they're all different. Um, they're all very different. They have different shimmers inside it. I love the way the different color shifting shimmers just like really make these polishes look like multi-chromes. So depending on whatever lighting you're in, um, it just looks different in different types of light. And when you move your hand around, it just looks, it like literally changes the color of your polish. So it's so pretty. Let It Slide is a squishy near crelly jelly polish loaded with shimmer in the sun a hot coppery shimmer pops against the bold yellow green base in the shade the neon color pops with a lighter lemon and peach shimmer this shade is best in three coats and can be worn over a tinted base or a complimentary cream for those who want no visible nail line um, i like that they included that in their description I am showing you this nail polish in three coats. You know, yellows are typically known for being three coaters unless you just have like an impeccable yellow formula. But since this is kind of like a 
acrylic jelly nail polish it is more sheer and it does take the extra coat to be opaque um i would say it's maybe 95 percent opaque at or at least for me at three coats but i do have longer nails um and it was actually a it dried pretty quickly because it is like a neon formula. It dried to that semi-matte finish pretty quickly. So it was kind of hard to like polish my whole entire nail in time. But there was a couple of dark spots on my nails that didn't cover completely. Um, if you have shorter nails, you might not have that issue. And you might be able to get it completely opaque in three coats. But I mean, if... You still see a visible nail line you can apply it as a topper over maybe another yellow color but I really like this one um, it's definitely that perfect mix between a yellow and a green and you can really see the peach shimmer like sticking out in this nail polish dive on in is a cool blue curly nail polish and bold lighting will set off shimmery hues of peach and lime against the blue background while shades of pink, green, and aqua come out to play in indirect lighting. This shimmery shade is best in two coats for a perfect polish for the pool. So again, in the swatch video, I'm only going to show you this polish in two coats. Again, it wasn't completely opaque, but I still think like with this, all the shimmer and stuff that's going on in the polish, you really don't need three coats unless you're completely picky about that which I can be sometimes, but I think for polishes like this, it just looks really nice in two coats. Um, you don't really need that extra coat because there's just so much going on. The formula is beautiful, just like the formula for every other polish. It didn't dry as quickly as some of the more neon nail polishes, but it looks really beautiful. It definitely is reminiscent of a, a pool. So dive in is just like the perfect name for this one. <laughs> Next is Flash Talking. This is a bold ultramarine blue nail polish loaded with color shifting shimmer. In direct light, a fun aqua color shimmers against the blue base while hints of cornflower and lavender show at some angles. In other light, a soft cyan blue morphs into shades of teal and violet with a hint of pink. This is best in two to three coats. So the shimmer in this one just really makes it again look like a multi-chrome so it's definitely a medium blue polish but with the shimmer inside it has like that strong violet shimmer so you can see like the purple on the edges of the nail um, but the blue and purple just really stand out against in this one but it does shift to a few other shades but the main predominant shades you're going to see is the blue and the purple. I went ahead and applied three coats to this one so you can see what that looks like. Fully opaque and it is fully opaque in three coats and just look at that shift just from blue to purple. So pretty. Love it. I'm definitely loving the blues in this collection but of course I saved my favorite blue my favorite polish in the collection to the end so be sure to stay to the end of the video next is my favorite color this is a shifty great leaning purple nail polish hues of magenta fuchsia and aqua blue shimmer in low lighting while pops of teal green and pink come out to play in brighter lighting this shifty shade is best in two to three coats with the third coat deepening the color for a polish that pairs well with any colorful freeze pop. <laughs> so this one's kind of like, I was going to say opposite to the last one because you can see like it's definitely purple, but it has like a very strong blue shimmer. Again, with this one, I went ahead and applied the third coat. Um, this is optional, but I definitely wanted it to be completely opaque. And I just love these blue to purple shimmers. And it's just really crazy how this one and the last polish I showed you, they're, they're very similar, both blue to purple, but they just look so different on the nail. But I really, really like it. I just love blue so much. Not really a purple fan, so if I had to pick between this one and the last one, I would pick 
you know, the blue to purple, or so than the purple to blue, but they're just both so pretty. The last polish I have to show y'all is called Kinda Shady. This is a deep black base that sets off a vibrant blue shimmer. In some lighting, the blue features hints of indigo or cobalt. At some angles, the blue almost appears, sorry, the blue almost disappears, giving a deep and mysterious shade that will keep you staring at your nails. This one builds perfectly in two coats for most for most nail lengths. So this one is my favorite polish in the collection. It is completely opaque in two coats and I could not stop staring at my nails. This was the second to last polish I tried on when I was watching this collection and I just had to wear it for a couple days so I waited to swatch that last polish but this polish is just so amazing. Y'all remember when those red to black multi-chromes came out? Like, this is like the blue to black version. It's so beautiful. Like, you have to see this one in person. And I'm not one to, like, say you need a nail polish, but if you were to pick any polish from this collection, this would be that polish. But I do believe that the entire collection is amazing. So let me know what y'all think of this collection in the comments. Let me know your favorite nail polishes and if you're going to pick anything up from this collection. If you enjoyed this video, please, please like the video. It really helps my channel out. And if you have not already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.